ADHD and D. Roll for concentration. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? It's Kenner and welcome to another GND memes video. How are you guys doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day. But before we go into the video, a quick word from today's sponsor, which is actually myself. Um, <laughs> if you want to take a quick moment to listen, it's a free app that you can use for tracking initiative. Now, if you're tired of the chaos of combat in your GND adventures, I want to introduce to you Initiative Master, which is a companion for seamless battles. With Initiative Master, managing turns has never been easier. Simply add your characters, NPCs, and enemies, roll the initiative, and let the app do the rest of the tracking. No more messy scribbles or lost track of whose turn it is. Initiative Master aims to keep your battles organized and your campaigns immersive. You can even track hit points and it's all in the palm of your hands. With it being a personal project, I guarantee that more features will be added based on user feedback, so head over to GameTableTools.com and you can use Initiative Master today for free and level up your adventures. Alright, on with the video. When the players do more prep between session than the DM does. Creation Bard readied his action to create an Iron Maiden behind the big bad evil guy as soon as he's hit with Warlock's Repelling Blast. Wizard casts her cane lock. Cleric puts his spiritual weapon in there with him. Druid casts Hit Metal. <laughs> okay, the party, <laughs> the party was prepared for the fight. The single most ignored lore in D&D. And for a good reason. Wizards of the Coast. This is a Dragonborn. They're essentially humanoids with draconic features Though keep in mind that they don't have a tail like actual dragons do. Literally every dragonborn player. How about I do anyway? <laughs> don't worry guys, it will take like 5 hours for it to fill up. When the DM describes the amount of water entering the sealed chamber and the, <laughs> the IRL engineering doing the actual math behind it. When the DM gives you a hard puzzle. Minus 5 hit points, minus 5 hit points, minus 5 hit points. Click, the crystals are now raining down twice as quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I might just go home. Classic. Columbo. Well, look at all those books. My wife. She loves all this indie role-playing stuff. Got a whole group together for it. Me. I'm still stuck playing first edition Traveler. Me. Perhaps you should try branching out, Lieutenant. That's what she's always telling me. But I tell ya, I tried to read Blades in the Dark, and... Columbo makes a great gesture of confusion. I'm sure you can figure it out, Lieutenant. Now, if you'll excuse me... Of course, sir, of course and proceeds to go to leave. Oh, just one more thing. Gestures to the d20 that I use in the murder. I was under the impression powered by the apocalypse only used 2d6? Thanks, I guess? Drowning PC <laughs> and hitting them with healing word and uh, yeah, they're, they're still drowning. It, it didn't help the drowning issue, no, not at all. My charisma is off the charts. Like this right here. Me, playing a paladin with high charisma but my social awkwardness still managing to find a way to shine through. In other words, Forge is a real son of a bitch. So you blame his mother for his corruption. Hit yes. Damage? No. <laughs> Me. Does a 23 hit? DM, using a creature immune to my attacks. Well, no. And yes. The wisest cleric. It's a DC 14 wisdom save to open the book. I'm a cleric. Wisdom is totally my thing. Fail. 15 minutes of cursed sleep next to the book of spells. Yeah, your cleric wisdom <laughs> tells you that if you fail a second time, you might die. In that case, I... <laughs> you never know when and where you'll meet the love of your life. Oh, new victim. The first level monk. Hey, hey. Oh, a storage. I'm gonna slap it. Slaps it with one damage. And um, they fall in love, I think? That I, I, okay. Vicious. DM. Okay, Ross. What broke build do you have for me this time? Russ. No, playing it easy this time. Going with a tiefling fighter. He has extra skill with pole arms because he was a harpooner on a whaling ship. Alright, that's reasonable. What's his name? Vlad. Vlad the Imp Whaler. <laughs> okay, dude. Damn bones get heavy. Barbarian. Hey, um, any chance you can teach me any of your tricks with corpses? Necromancer. Oh, I'm afraid you lack the capacity to learn my skills. What are you talking about? I'm plenty strong. Yeah? What role do you think strength plays in what I do? I mean, don't you deadlift? I feel bad for the necromancer having to deal with that. I don't do accents. Online player asking for some silly NPC accents. Can you do a New York accent or a Southern accent? Australian accent? DM, running the game from Austria. I couldn't even do American accent, what the hell are you talking about? I did read that in my mind in Arnold's voice, but I can't actually do it. Rock and Stone. Digging deep. DM. You have dressed for dinner and are now at the head table of the Dwarven Lord. What do you do until the first course arrives? Bard. 
I regale those around me with a tale of our heroism and chivalry. Roll me a performance check. Rock hard in the paint with a 28. Every dwarven maiden within earshot is enthralled by you. Okay, well those are some gorgeous beards. Meet my all-time favorite go-to PC, Sergio. At level 2, wizard to the fighter with action surge. I guess I'll just throw another cantrip. At level 12, no, what do you mean they succeeded the fireball save throw? Now I'll only deal half damage. And his with action surge again. <laughs> and at level 20, no, the enemies keep counterspelling my cool stuff. And the, the fighter is just with counterspell uh, action surge again. <laughs> DMing idea 672. When a player natural wants an intelligence or wisdom check, have them make up some wildly inaccurate information. Picture: A bard natural wanting a nature check. If you've ever seen an octopus sitting on one tentacle, he's getting ready to do the stranger. I know it's not strictly D&D related, but it sure is a funny mashup of two of my favorites that I rely on for my D&D needs. Who are you? I am Aragorn, King of Gondor. I didn't vote for you. I was given Anduril by Elrond, Lord of Rivendell. Listen, strange elf lords distributing swords is no basis for a system of government. Shut up! Help! Help! I'm being repressed! I was I was wondering what the mashup was supposed to be, but I, I got it. I got it before the next the, the, the last line. It's a Monty Python reference if you didn't get it. An unlimited supply of really, really, really bad ideas. When the DM has to listen to the party deciding how to complete their quest. DM. How do you get the MacGuffin locked in a vault? Steal it, obviously, poison the king, date the princess, or forge documents from a rival nation declaring war. <laughs> and probably all of them, honestly, all of them at once. Battle cry. DM. And it's your initiative, Casey. Half giant barbarian. So let me understand. Uh, the dwarf, gnome, and halfling have all been downed by one dude? That is accurate, yes. I think you know I'm raging, but I would like to proceed it with a battle cry if I may. Which is, you're killing me smalls! Let's just say that due to past experiences, my players will never trust. Dogs, gnomes, small girls, and children in general. The list actually goes on for several pages. The DM introduces a funny magical gnome who plays tricks. You recognize the name out of character. That's unfortunate because that would be metagaming, so you kinda have to pretend that you don't know what's going on. I've never lost a sword fight that I started by shooting the other person. <laughs> Have a fair fight or draw 25. The, sh the swashbuckler rogue obviously going for the, you know, drawing 25 there. The important question. I bet he's thinking about other women. If I am a warforged who wears armor, is it like a second skin? Dracoon. Villager. With a bad Scottish accent. We can thank you enough for agreeing to fight this monster for us. It's put five horses on fire, and we are terrified that it'll come back for more. Fear not, Master Halfling, says the paladin. There is no terror we will not face, and we are all well versed in slaying dragons. Isn't that right, Monty? I think this will make five for us, <laughs> says the ranger Monty. Ah, yeah, I'm sure you berated it to take Dune a dragoon, but Dos is a dracoon. A dra- a what? It's, it's, it's a dracoon, not a dragon, okay. <laughs> What's your best injunction order? Barred from entry. The following ex-customers are unwelcome. Do not let them in. Even should they beg. Especially should they beg. Martin Doty. Human? Chug and run. Adam Smith. Smythe? I don't know. <laughs> Lascivious behavior. Also known as the pickle incident. Gerigoff Torm. She knows what she did. Kevin Ord. Tall dwarf and exceedingly boring. Sira B. Short half-elf. And she vomited on the waiter. Purposefully. Jesus Christ. Unknown elf. Pale skin, snide mouth, referring to Master Distiller as the porcelain publican. Rochelle Quirk, halfling, groin punching. And Jon von Dom, Don, a uh, suspected alias. Grotesquely tall human and uh, banned for underpants on head. They gave me a restraining order! <laughs> did you at least get the intel we needed? What intro? Paladin. How did the reckon go? Rogue. It was a great night. The princess was very accommodating. Oh, you got in and out easily? Very easily. <laughs> Paladin looking at the rogue. I, th I thought that's something that bards usually do? I'm confused. Now, what stat bonus would you apply for this check? ADHD and D. Roll for concentration. <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's honestly pretty good. That, as far as D&D t-shirts go, I think this is a pretty solid one. He really wanted to command them to grovel. The DM. 
The dignitaries of a rival nation have arrived in your court. Conquest Paladin trying to hold himself back. Do better than you have before. You are their god. You played with their fate. The hearts of men are not your toys. Your old character became a god, right? Yes, now shut up. That means you could worship yourself. The difficulties of playing a secret homebrew race that is originally an animal. Your party finds the Queen of Death locked in a barrier which seems to disable all magic within while on a time crunch in the Lich's castle. Ranger with cat features, me, goes in to help and is suddenly a cat. The party. Why are you a cat? Me. Meow. We don't have time for this. Meow. Why does this have to happen now? Meow. The lore really do owl bears dirty most of the time. As for griffons, no, that is an abomination. Only a mad wizard would create such a monstrosity. That is such a noble and majestic creature, which is clearly natural to our realm. We shall decorate our royal banners with their likeness. <laughs> oh, the pool owl bear. What are your rules for attendance? When the whole group can't make it to a session, but your DM makes a game for the players present. Because that's what heroes do. I mean, for when the whole group can make it, but okay. I mean, yeah, if you didn't, you know, at least cancel it in advance and people already went to the trouble of getting there, it's, um, you know, it's. It, I think it's a nice thing to do at least. So, how many characters has everyone commissioned? My D&D artist. Look, I've been around the world, okay? Whatever it is, I'll understand. Characters that I have an idea for, but I am not sure if I'm going to use. There's nothing about this that I understand. <laughs> it has been raised and conditioned by the party. When you have a habit of giving unusual pets to your party. Greek Hydra, False Hydra, and, and then there's the Hydra obsessed with squeaky toys. Fair, this is more of a general fantasy thing. But still, this is an orc, right? Yup, they are a race of tribal savages with culture all revolving around war, right? Yup, and they value physical prowess above all else with little care for aesthetics. I guess that makes sense? So, female orcs should be virtually indistinguishable from males. No, they are big- <laughs> <laughs> This is how you meet me, campaign 1, episode 1. Or, on any random Tuesday, IRL. DM. You finally docked your skiff and go to the seaside shanty tavern. What are you doing? Raving about sirens, merfolk, bad omens, and the like. So hard to find good character art that isn't wow color. Fan artists and memers. Look, I've been around the world, okay? Whatever it is, I'll understand. Orcs and goblins in the book that aren't actually Warcraft color. There's nothing about this that I understand. <laughs> the news of our demise was greatly exaggerated. Mischievous gnome named <laughs> Tercuccio and the party coming back for revenge. So, fun fact, Kiryu, Mecha Godzilla, technically a Draculich raised by Necromancer plus Artificer. Players hate paying taxes. <laughs> Never ask a woman her age, a man his salary, and an adventurer where he gets his gold. <laughs> oh, I'm sure the king is gonna be interested in that one. Do, do not mess with the king's tax collection system. Alright, before ending the video, quick reminder to check out the initiative tracker if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments what you think about it and any suggestions you have for it. And uh, yeah, with that being said, thanks again for watching. Links below to everything. Thank you a lot to the Patreon and YouTube supporters. And uh, see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.